Okay, in the next series of tutorials, what we're going to do is try and create a computer mouse. So I'm going to start off with showing you in step-by-steps how to do different features that perhaps we haven't used uh, yet in our tutorials. So I'm going to click on create, create a document. And I'm going to call it computer mouse. So again, I'm going to put my initials on the end, press OK. <coughs> so with this, you know, we, we can have a little bit of flexibility, but try to stick as close as you can to the dimensions that I quote as I go through, uh, just so that we can make sure that all of our components, all of our parts go together when we go to our assembly. So I'm going to start off by drawing on the right plane, and I'm going to view it on the right. So I'm going to start, as I said, to draw a computer mouse. I'm going to give the computer mouse, by clicking on sketch, I'm just going to say um, the length of the computer mouse uh, is going to be a set dimensions. I'm going to start off by drawing a construction line. So I can select line and construction line. The construction line basically is something that just helps me along with my drawing. So I'm going to say that the length of my computer mouse is approximately, I don't know, maybe 90 millimetres. So I'm going to escape line, and as you can see, I've just made the mistake of shifting my drawing. So double click on right to bring it back. So if I said that I'm going to make this 85, if I make the entire line <coughs> 85, and then split that up, because I want to retain the centre, it's just a habit of mine really, just to keep everything centred where you can. I'm going to select the end point of the line and the centre plane. I'm going to set that to 42.5. So now when I press green tick and I go back to my isometric drawing, I've just got a little construction line that I'm going to try and draw everything within. So the first feature that we're going to have a go at doing is creating a new plane. And I'm going to create a new plane off this front plane. Okay, so it's probably easier that I show you how to do this to start off with. If I click on plane button with this plane selected when I create a new plane it'll reference the plane that I've already selected there and I've got the option now of selecting or entering in a dimension at the same time if I click on right to view from right I can drag the new plane out by using this um, arrow here or it's probably easier actually to enter in the dimensions that I've set myself 42.5 and I'm going to press green tick so, after I press green tick, going back to isometric view, and now you can see I've got a new plane. This new plane is going to help me create what's called a loft, and you can see the loft feature there. The theory of a loft basically is projecting in between two sketches. So I'm going to draw my first sketch on this plane, click on sketch, and I'm going to view it from the front. And I'm going to create a corner point rectangle <clears throat> going down to this plane okay this bottom plane here and I'm going to give it some dimension so this is going to be the very tip of my mouse so think about the mouse at the front that you're probably using what is it at its widest point so I'm going to say probably on mine maybe 45 okay so I'm going to enter in a width of 45 and again to retain uh, to keep it in the center, I'm just going to center this to 22.5, so it's half of the dimension that I just entered. And I'm going to give it a suitable height, probably think no more than 15. <coughs> there you go. So if I just press green tick and go back to isometric view to show you what I've just drawn, I've drawn the first part of my mouse on this plane. I'm going to draw the next part of my mouse on this plane here. Okay, So what I can do temporarily is just hide this sketch. Okay, If I wanted to, I, I, no, I don't need to, um, but if I wanted to hide it, I can hide that sketch and maybe that will help with the drawing. Actually, I'm going to keep it in place. Uh, so if I click on unhide, show, 
Okay, so I'm going to draw now on this front plane. And the reason being is you basically need to draw on two planes to create the loft feature. So I click on front, so I'm just viewing it from the front. I'm basically repeating the process of what I've done with my original rectangle. So if I create the corner point rectangle, <coughs> draw it so that it snaps onto the bottom plane. And now I want to make this rectangle slightly larger. So if I say, I'm going to set that to 60. And again, center it. Set it to 30. Now, although I'm quite, quite comfortable with this dimension as it appears, um, I don't want to leave it as a random dimension. So if, let's just have a look at what it is. It's 21 point a random number. So let's just bring that down to 20. Okay, and press green tick. Now, so far, you might be thinking, I've got no idea what he's doing, but let's just have a go at creating this loft, so using the loft tool. Now, it's worth just recapping, I've got these two sketches, i just rotate it down, on two planes. On the one that I've just made, plane one, and on the front plane. So if I click on loft, and again, use the dialog box that pops up to help you. So I'm creating a solid, okay, and create a new profile and or new loft rather and it's going to be within these two sketches so if i click on my first sketch then select my second sketch and green tick there you go that's basically what a loft does okay it creates an extrusion or a loft in between two profiles i can actually go on and do a third fourth fifth profile and probably an infinite amount but hopefully you can see that that's the start of my mouse. And just to make it a little bit more visually appealing, I'm going to put a fillet on that top edge. I'm going to put a quite a large fillet on there, I think. Uh, let's change that to 10. And let's add a slightly softer fillet to that edge. and rotate it around to the opposite side. And green tick. Again, I can go back and make any edits to this first part of my mouse by right clicking and selecting edit. So if I wanted to change the fillet dimension, I can go there. But that's the basics of doing a loft. It allows you to create lots of different creative shapes. Um, so have a go using that. Try and stick to the dimensions that I've quoted because we'll build up the rest of the mouse.